Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Pretty neat little graphic. I played around with the interactive field tool. Just a couple of things to think of uh, when you're doing it, because every time you do it, you're going to get a different size in the um, a different like these walls touch, which isn't a bad thing. Where these walls touch just a little bit, so I think I need to make a a, a smaller circle. So we're going to take this ellipse right here. Hopefully it doesn't have any broken lines. I can start on the left. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to bring it in quite a bit. Now I want those to, I'm actually going to start on the other side. So I got the four sided cross holding down the control button. So it'll be still on that same plane. All right, control D, alternate C to get it to rotate from the center. Now we're at 180, so we need to, we'll go uh, 120. Well, that's the opposite I want to do. Um, let's go uh, 240, control D, control D. Now, like I said, it all depends on your perspective and whether you want these lines to touch or not or be separated, then take this one, hit the plus key on your keyboard, and we want to dock it right there on that intersection. This might work. So now take your virtual segment delete. Deleting the outer two lines, we just want to click the inner two line because we're thinking about where the smart field is going to flow. So we want all this to flow through. Now with here, hold down the Alt key, and it'll help you get rid of all those lines. It helps you uh, delete in a straight line. And I think we got it. So take your smart fill tool. I'm going to use that orange. Okay. I didn't want to smart fill that anyway. I want that right there. I'm going to nudge it out of the way. I'm going to go. I'm keeping this in case I need it. And I'm going to nudge this back. I'm going to left click, right click, control D, alternate C, and rotate it that 60 degrees. See, we're touching. So you can either have it touching or not, uh, depending on your preference. Uh, I think maybe a little bit smaller circle would uh, do it. So I'm going to weld it all together. And you can see where it's got those uh, pieces. And we'll use the Smart Fill tool. And there you go. Now, because now that I Smart Filled it, it's all one solid unit. So I can put it back and I can use the, uh, you don't have to. I'll tell you what, let's put in a black box. That way we can see better. Left click black, object, order, back a page. I don't think this is going to look as cool as a blue one. Select it, interactive field tool, just swipe anywhere, but then grab right here to the elliptical and put it in the center. And that looks pretty cool. Now it might look better if these weren't touching. So you could play with your size and you can still do more with it. Um, let's bring the orange out. Let's put a little, uh, I don't know if we want any darkness, but we'll try it. And um, get that orange and put it on the other side of it. That looks pretty cool. So I just want to basically, a man, eh, I don't like it. Delete that. You could always use white between there. It'll give it a little. And then you could spread these out, giving it more white. And you could always add another orange to give it a little bit more orange to the center. Take away that, turn off your indexing lines. And that's a pretty cool pattern. Now, I think smaller would have made it where they're actually look like leaves instead of touching, but you can play around with that. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.